problem. I'm, I'm, I'm sure when you're in this situation, you think that you're the only person in there. But the reason why I'm doing this one today, I want to see how many other people are going through the same thing. So we're going to have black people. I'm not a racist, but we're going to have to look out for a scam. I call it a scam. Okay. Uh, it could be legitimate or whatever, but I feel like it's a scam okay. because uh, I don't mind helping anyone. I love helping people. I love for people to help me. Okay. It's just a part of uh, my personality on, on for money and more property. There's a common factor here okay. that, uh, that uh, nothing is the same. I have a friend is going had gone through the same thing uh, I'm going through with a Hispanic person moving next door to her. Okay. I have no qualms about anyone living next door to me. Mm-hmm. I don't know what prejudice is. I don't think people should look at people by the color of their skin or nationality. They should look at people as people. And that's the important thing, not a a boundary or a inch over here by me and so forth. But my thing is, recently I got a new neighbor, which I was jumping for joy when I seen him, especially when he came in and started cleaning up and making the property more valuable. Uh, because my last neighbor was just a pain. Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't do anything right. He, he would try to stop me from doing things. Uh, he built this big gigantic garage so he could take up all the space in between my garage and his. Uh, he tried to let his dog come over in my yard, which I don't have a pet or dog. Mm-hmm. And he would drive his car before he put his garage up, drive his car up against my garage when he had all of the space over on the other side so right. I had to do something so I had a friend of mine Manuel to come over and put a fence down between his garage uh, his area and mine okay in a straight line he measured it mm-hmm. and while I went on vacation and came back yeah. he had kicked one of the slats out and it stayed broken. I didn't put it back because I was tired of spending money on this man doing childish, stupid stuff. Right. So that went on and I have been here over 30 years. My kids grew up in this house. Right. Okay. When I came here, we had chain link fences uh, and Virginia and I also put the wrought iron ones up front so mm-hmm. I could do my gardening and keep the kids out of the uh, out of the yard and the grown purpose and with me having a porch on the front mm-hmm. uh, Virginia had told me that people had started when I would be working nights they would be sleeping on my porch and that was not good so we all got together and did this so then after that happened I'm gonna try to make this short as possible uh, that happened. Uh, Mr. Hum moved in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he was here. Mm-hmm. He had a fence over there, mm-hmm. around there. I didn't have a fence over on that side. Well, I had the chain link, but it only went to a certain distance. Right. I have a chain link on each side of my house. Right. Okay. And the uh, out front. Right. So. My friend Ann was mugged, which I hear saying. Yeah. And she was in really bad shape because she had just beautiful grass out in the back. Mm-hmm. Um, she needed to go to therapy and she needed a jacuzzi. So oh. she came to me and the neighbor on the side, Willie, and asked, was it okay for her to put up a fence right. um, oh, back there? so she could put the jacuzzi in so she would give a certain amount of privacy right right okay so she had some very bad things to happen to her Mm -hmm. and she sold the property and moved away Right. okay and then the next one came in was 
um, Veronica them. And, uh, I, they had, uh, the jacuzzi taken out. Mm Mm-hmm. And that was about it. Mm -hmm. So when my neighbor, uh, moved in, the one that's a problem, Mm -hmm. he decided that he wanted a drain like you slaughter pigs in the yard. He wanted concrete all the way across right. and he built this garage all the way across and took up all just about all the space back there on his side. Right. And then he said he was gonna put a wrought iron fence in between me and him. Right. So him having a doberman pincher dog, uh him not cleaning up behind the dog mm-hmm. or anything. I told him I said, well, no, I don't, I don't want to look through no uh, raw iron fence with you because I couldn't have go outside. Do he would rush out and he was handicapped. Mm-hmm. Someone had threw him out of a tree in the forestry department mm-hmm. and hurt his leg and he would rush out. He had a lot he had to say, which I didn't want to talk to him about mm-hmm. nothing. And I, that's when I called the minister over and asked him. I know he do construction. Right. He came over. And he put, I guess you call it a plastic fence. Is it plastic? Yeah, it is. It's, it's a, a pla- plastic it's white, white fence. Plastic. Um, yeah. And oh, he came God. and put that in between there, and he was upset about that. I'm sure he was. <laughs> <laughs> so he kept trying to damage the chain length, which has nothing to do with him, okay. but anything to tick me off. And he said that I stopped him from putting up his right iron. And so I don't see why that was stopping because he could have put it on the other side of mine. They, he he, it, there's a boundary line there. Right. So, okay, he stayed here about 11 years. And then after a year on the market, he finally sold his house, I suppose. He's gone. Right. And then we have another tenant that moved in a few months ago. Right. And yesterday... Uh, a couple of days ago, I went outside for the first time to start working on getting my soil and stuff prepared for my garden mm-hmm. and flowers and so forth. Mm-hmm. Beautiful day. Mm-hmm. And my Holy Spirit said, look behind your door mm-hmm. at the garage. So I opened the door. Up. I had no boards, just my my four by four. That's the only thing mm-hmm. was left. And I'm looking like, what happened? Mm-hmm. So I went on the other end. This was a big uh, gap in between the fence where a whole person could walk in. See, I don't feel secure anymore. When I first moved in, I had um, Ann and Virginia as neighbors. It really didn't matter to me whether it was not because they were beautiful people, beautiful neighbors. Right. Okay. Right. Thereafter, it wasn't, and then even Veronica and them was, was pretty, pretty nice people. Right. Those was the people before uh, Mr. Holmes. Right. Yeah. Thank you. And now I got this one. He seemed to be identical to Mr. Holmes. Yeah, he took my fence say. down. He did not ask my permission. Could he take it down? He didn't even have to. He could have asked me, whose fence is it? Mm-hmm. Because he had already taken down the fence mm-hmm. that Ann put up, and he came, after that, that was my fence. So I don't know why he would think that he had two fences thrown it. He's, I think it was explained that the real estate people told him that that was his fence. Okay. Now, we have to come into this thing where we use common sense. Right. Why would you have two fences? Right. A wooden one and a plastic one, right? Yeah. On your line and mine's on the other line. He just took it down. Uh, And after I tried to contact him, Mm -hmm. his children, one of his children told him, they never came out. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. So, and I could not ask him, what what was you thinking when you did that? And finally I called the police and I needed a police report that this man has taken my fence down without my permission. Right. I don't even know what he looked like. He didn't just mm-hmm. did this. Mm-hmm. So 